I would like to stop the uh, the, uh, the conversation. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. Have you heard this this concept that's sort of getting gaining popularity in the U.S. that that both the Israelis and the Arabs should not be getting U.S. tax dollars? Uh, I'm not into that. If mm. it's those are the questions you would want to ask, yeah. then uh, I would like to stop the uh, the uh, the conversation. All right, so that's about as far as I've gotten into the uh, Israeli question. I bumped into a protest or demonstration in favor of Israel a few years ago. And I wanted to know whether that, you know, I wanted to ask these people, well, does that mean you're saying that uh, I should be forced to send my tax dollars to the Israeli government? And, of course, this lady was clueless on that issue. But, well, I guess I shouldn't say of course, but she was clueless. Anyway, I tend to rate this issue probably less important than it really is. But my viewers consider it important. It seems like I see a lot of posts on my on my videos, people watching my videos that want to insert the Israeli question in Jerusalem, Premier ben Gurion reviews 5,000 crack troops into videos that have nothing to do with it. Uh, I think usually because they're anti-Semites and they want to accuse who, whoever's bad in my video of being Jewish. Nevertheless, I do think it would be useful to, if I have anything unusual to say about the Israeli question, maybe I should inject it into the debate because everybody really is, it seems, interested in it. There's this idea that uh, a, com uh, a simple political philosophy will lead to complex pol political positions. And that really rings true with the Israeli situation. So if you want my take on it, it's really going to be a complex take. Or it's going to seem like I'm not siding with anybody. I don't know how. Anyway, l let's just run the Israeli situation through the simple libertarian formula. Right? So first of all... He is wrong who harms others through the initiation of force or fraud. So, under that formula, we have to immediately condemn the Israeli government because it initiates force, at least, against the taxpayers of Israel and forces them to pay for whatever it does, good or bad. So it's bad like any other government in that sense. Furthermore, since its tax rates are pretty high by Western standards. You know, as a Western country, it's, it's got pretty high taxes, a lot, a lot higher than the U.S. That means, in relation to its citizens, it's basically a worse government than the United States government, which is pretty bad. It's initiating more force against them, even if it's not killing more of them. It's initiating force against any, any Arab bystanders who it's killing, like children uh, or uninvolved women. It is not, however, necessarily initiating force when it shoots up Palestinian militias or PA officials. That would have to be judged on a case-by-case -case basis on each individual it kills or assaults. Maybe some of them initiated force, maybe some of them didn't. With the Palestinians looking at them with the same jaundiced eye, questions would be, number one, does the Palestinian Authority tax the people of, of uh, the West Bank and Gaza and so forth uh, whichever ones fall under its control, I don't know exactly which do. If so, then it is a force initiator against the Palestinian people if it uses any of that money to fund attacks on Israeli bystanders, again, children mostly, then that would be an initiation of force against the individuals who are bystanders. An attack by Palestinian Authority people or by Palestinian militias against Israeli Soldiers is not necessarily an initiation of force. It's not terrorism. It's guerrilla war. If you go back to the roots of the conflict and you think about the Israelis coming to Palestine, that is not an initiation of force. That is illegal immigration against the British Empire. And who gives a flying fart whether you committed an act of illegal immigration against the British Empire or not? Big deal. Cry me a ocean. Nothing wrong about doing that. And for a Palestinian to attack an Israeli for being in Palestine is an initiation of force.
can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.